It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute Scorpio or Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five recently reflected on the 40th anniversary of their hit single, The Message, which is widely regarded as one of the greatest hip hop songs of all time. So he's told Hip Hop DX that he admitted they initially hated the song. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, check out Joey Badass 2000 review. The album review playlist so the message was released in 1982 as the title track for the group's debut studio album this is scorpio said i think one of the most important things about the song is just us trusting in things that we didn't trust in sometimes he told the outlet like with music you got to get out of your own ego because realistically we hated that song we couldn't stand that song we didn't think that it had no reality to us, but thank God Miss Robinson had a better vision. He continued thinking because we was coming from the Bronx that it'll match better versus putting it with somebody else or whatever the case may be. So just trusting in other people was the biggest lesson. We don't have all the answers. No artists have all the answers. Message went on to become the first hip hop song chosen by the Library of Congress to be added to the National Recording Registry. It is often cited as one of the first rap songs for a serious political and social commentary. Um, asked why they hated the song, Scorpio added, I think we we was really scared of change because we was like the biggest ghetto superstars before records. And everything that got us to that point was real braggadocious, talking about girls, parties, this and that. And to hear the record like that with the slower tempo and everything maybe it was just too real for us like yo i gotta grow up now maybe we still wanted to be kids and sing about partying those type of songs versus being in reality like we oh wait broken glasses everywhere hey you talking about where we live hey hey we know rats in the front room roaches in the back we know that we live that maybe it was something that hit too hard for us he went on to remarked that the lyrics in the track Sally remain relevant today. So go ahead and check that song when you get a chance. But you never know, man. Like people can have, you know, second thoughts and man, I don't think we should put that out. Like, nah, I don't think the world is ready for stuff like that. And sometimes you'd be surprised that when you do release a song or a book or whatever it is, it could be maybe a product. And like the world, like, oh my God, this is what we've been waiting for. And people embrace it, especially the culture. Then you like, damn, never mind. You know, so your second thoughts can 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 kind of kill the dream. Sometimes it's just about just releasing it, even if people are not ready for it. That's like life lessons. You ain't gonna never know until you find out. But I'm glad the song was released and look at it now. You know, so many people know the song as far as like my parents and grandparents and the new generation they'll hear it they might be like what the heck but they know that where it's, it's coming from and at the end of the day like i said shout out to the um the ogs the pioneers of hip-hop post your comments post smash black panther the like button subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to be notified when i upload new content and go live I want to support and donate to the channel i have patreon patreon.com slash Demo cash out, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.